everyone welcome to today's lecture of continuing unit 2 take me to unit 2 and hear the speech organs how the speech organs work in english today we're going to start with we've done the palate today we're going to start with the the teeth okay let's go the lower front teeth are not important in speech except that if they are missing certain sounds so now basically i go in and asnan al amamiya sufla hiya مو مهمة هالقد in speech, okay, except if uh, that if they are missing certain sounds. For example, عدنا س, ز, will be difficult to make. رح يكونها صعبات علينا إنه نسويهن. But the two upper front teeth are used in English to some extent. بس ال two upper front teeth, الأسنان الأمامية العليا, okay, are used in English. نستعملهن بالإنجليش, okay. Put the tip of your tongue very close to the edge of these teeth and blow. This will produce a sound like the English th, okay, in thin. Okay, so if we put our uh, if we put our tongue, okay, إذا حطينا لسانة to very close to the edge of these teeth, كلش قريب من نهاية هذني الأسنان العليا الأمامية. Okay, هاي رح نقدر نقول الصوت th, okay, ك بكلمة thin. If you turn on the voice during this th sound, you will get a sound like the English the in this. Okay? So, مثلاً they قلنا إنه يعني أكو the and there is a the. Okay? So that's all for the teeth. مثلاً يجي سؤال عليها ااا يسؤال عليها يقول what's the role of the teeth in speech production and give examples. السؤال راح أكتبه بالdescription just check it out and you can copy in your notebooks okay now let's go to the tongue اللسان عدنا the tongue is important عدنا ده اللسان the tongue okay the tongue is the most important of the organs of speech ليش the tongue اللسان أهم the organs of speech أهم هن نقول هذا سؤال طبعا هنا أنا كوش مارك okay جواب because it has the greatest variety of movements لأن اللسان هو أكثر الأورجنز اللي هو عنده مساحة كبيرة من ال من الموفمنت يعني يقدر يتحرك أوكي يقدر يتحرك اللسان. Although the tongue has no obvious natural divisions like the palate, حتى لو اللسان إحنا مقسمينه ما مبين يعني تقسيمه ك natural division مثل the palate أوكي is useful to think of it as divided into four parts. يساعدنا إنه إذا نقسم إحنا إلى أربعة parts. Okay, as shown in figure six. Figure six هنا أنا مقسمين اللسان هذا اللسان. Okay, بداية اللسان هاي تسمى the tip. Okay, tip of the tongue. هاي tip of the tongue. هاي عدنا هنا أنا the blade of the tongue. Okay, هاي the blade. هنا أنا عدنا front. Okay, وهنا أنا عدنا the back of the tongue. Alright. Okay, the back of the tongue, اللي هو هاي, and it's in here, alright. The back of the tongue lies under the soft palate. Lies under, يعني هو متواجد under, okay, the soft palate. هاي هنا نحكي هنا بالمحاضرة السابقة قلنا هنا نتكون soft palate. So the back of the tongue lies under the soft palate. Okay, lies under. مثلاً إذا يجي فراغات, the back of the tongue lies when it تكون هاي هنا under. نقول, okay, I have space, as you can see in here, space. The back of the tongue lies under the soft palate. All right, under the soft palate. When the tongue is at rest, when you can listen at rest, يعني مرتاح. Okay, the front lies under the hard palate. So the front of the tongue, هاي ال front this part. Okay, this is the front part. It lies همي جي فراغات under the hard palate. اللي هي هاي هنا ال hard palate اللي تكون هاي. Okay, so at now she gonna the back of the the back of the tongue it lies under you know the soft palate. Second, at now the front of the tongue lies under the hard palate. It lies under the hard palate. At now the tip and the blade. Okay, at now the tip and the blade. Ili here the blade and the tip. Alright, lie under the alveolar ridge. Hi, now at now the alveolar ridge. So the tip and the blade they both lie under the alveolar ridge. Just to give a regard to it, okay. The tip, okay. The tip being the most forward part, اللي هو الجزء المتقدم يعني the forward part, okay, of all the blade between the tip and the front. So هو هذا the tip يكون 
the tip part okay اللي هو يكون the most forward المتقدم the part of all and the blade between the between and the blade okay the blade between the tip and the front right the tip and the blade are particularly mobile يعني the tip and the blade the tip and the blade are mobile okay and as we have seen they can touch the whole of the lips مثل ما قاعد نقدر نشوف they can touch the whole of the lips اللسان the tip okay and the blade يقدرون يلمسون اللبس اللي هي شف اوكي ابتكلي مو بايل قلنا and we have seen they can touch the whole of the lips the teeth the alveolar ridge and the hard palate so basically عندنا هنا the tip and the blade هذني ال parts they can touch the عندنا the lips اوكي قلنا the lips the whole of the lips the teeth الاسنان قلنا ال alveolar ridge اوكي and the hard palate. So basically, عدنا the tip and the blade. They can touch all of the mouth organs. Okay. The front can be flat on. The front can be high front. It can be flat on. Okay. يعني مسطح. The bottom of the mouth, or it can be raised. يرفع to touch the hard palate. يقدر يكون مسطح أو يقدر يرفع حتى to touch the hard palate. Alright. To touch the hard palate. Or it can be raised to any extent between these two extremes. So basically, يعني it can be raised between uh, حتى it touch the hard palate or it can be flat on. Okay? The lips. Okay? It is obvious that the lips can take up various different positions. إنه من الواضح إنه the lips الشفة تقدر تأخذ different uh, various positions كأماكن متعددة. مثلا lips تقدر تأخذ أماكن متعددة. Okay? They can be brought firmly together. Okay? هنا أنا مثلا بالdiagram هذا الفيجر. They can be brought firmly together. نقدر نسد اللبس, okay? Or we can close it, okay? So they can be brought firmly together, as in p or b or m, okay? So that they completely block the mouth. حتى يغلقن ال mouth, okay? The what the lower lip can be drawn inward and slightly upward to touch the upper front teeth, as in sounds f and v. So if you try the sounds f and v, how you get the sound? F f f. Your lower lip, شوف the lower lip. Okay, it's touching the front teeth, the upper front teeth. مثلا إذا نجرب نقول f and v. Okay, and they can be kept apart either flat or with different amounts of roundings. نقدر مثلا نقول o هاي يعني roundings مثلا rounded. Okay. نقدر نخليها يش مرتاحة in different amounts of roundings, alright? And they can be pushed forward and قدم هن to a greater or lesser extent. Of course, the closed position for p, m, m, and the lip teeth position, the lip teeth position, okay? For v, the lip teeth position for f and v are used in English. Lip teeth position هي هاي الحركة اللي process اللي نسويها مثلا من ال lower lower lips okay they touch the upper front teeth مثلا عندنا example الف والف okay your lower teeth is touching your upper front teeth alright but apart from this the English do not move their lips with very much energy the English people native English people they don't move their lips with much energy مو بهالقد طاقة قوية حتى يحركون ماتهم اللبس عندنا هنا in this chapters عندنا uh, هنا in this uh, in the chapters which follow we shall see how the movements of organs of speech combine together يعني ينخلطن مع uh, together okay forming the sounds of English بالchapter اللي راح يجينا uh, اللي هو third unit okay راح راح نعرف the movements of the organs of speech combine together in forming the sounds of English for example in in Google that uh, in your language you have a T sound which is made by touching upper front teeth with the tip of your tongue. But I don't know an example. I don't know T T sound. How is the T sound made? مثلا نقول is made by touching the upper front teeth. The stanil the عليا touching okay the tip of your tongue. The tip of the tongue اللي هو قلنا عليه this figure okay the tip of the tongue is touching the Upper front teeth, high upper front teeth. So it's touching the front teeth. So we are producing the sound t, t. Okay, try it, and you will see what I mean. In here, we may have a question. مثلاً يجينا لقول 
What are the four parts in which the tongue is divided? شنو الأقسام اللي هي التانج اللي سان المتقسم بيها اللي هو نقول عليها tip and the blade and the front and the back. Okay. And we can ask a question as well. What is the role of the lips in speech production? شنو دور the lips in speech production? Okay. And there's a question which is اللي هو حيكون what is the role of the lips in speech production? شنو دور the lips in speech production حتى حتى نتكلم الكلمات اللي هو نقدر نقول they can be brought firmly together. Okay. As in p, b, and m. Okay. Uh, in goal, the lower front, uh, the lower lip can be drawn inward and slightly outward. So basically, هذني أشروهم بالكتاب لأن هذني مهمات مثلا إذا يسألكم على lips شنو part the lips شنو what is the role of the lips okay in speech production. In goal, they can be brought firmly together as in hechi hechi okay. Or then in goal, they can completely block the mouth okay. The lower uh, lip can be drawn inward and slightly. Upward, okay, to touch the upper front teeth, as in sounds, مثلا نقول ث and ذ, alright. نقدر نقولهم as well. They can be kept apart, either flat or with different amounts of of roundings, alright. So they can be kept apart, either flat, مسطحات, or with different amount of roundings. They can be pushed forward to a greater or lesser extent, okay. And that's it for this lecture. I'm going to make another video explaining the exercises and thank you for listening.